Hey there, tech fans. Rick here from the O-Ray team with an overview of the UHD Pro 104 one input, four output HDMI splitter. This product was designed to make it very simple for you to share any media source with an HDMI output with up to four monitors simultaneously at a full 4K ultra high definition resolution. The product also includes downscaling capabilities. In case you're mixing monitors with different resolutions, the product will automatically adjust to give you the best possible picture across all four of those monitors. Also included is an EDID selection switch that allows you to lock in synchronization across all four of those monitors. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing of the product just to show you all the components that are included with the kit. And then I'll list the audio and video standards of product and support. I'll take a closer look at the unit itself and explain all the connections you'll need to make to get it working with your own equipment at home. And then finally, I'll come back and actually install it here to show you just how simple it is to use. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first pop open the box, the first thing you'll probably notice is a full user's manual that has a lot of really good information inside to make it really easy to install. You'll find connection diagrams, information about the audio and video standards it supports, and an explanation of what the EDID switch does. So you have a choice of two settings for the EDID switch. On the back, you'll find some troubleshooting tips in case you have questions when you're installing it. Also included is a five volt power supply. This end gets plugged into the wall. The other end is a standard micro USB connection, plugs into the back of the splitter, and that's all the power you'll need to operate it. And then finally, the UHD Pro 104. Now, if you stay tuned, I'll list the audio and video standards that the product can support, and then we'll take a closer look at the product. The O-Ray UHD Pro 104 is compatible with a wide range of audio and video standards, including video resolutions up to 4K at 60 Hertz, it features full support for HDR and is HDCP 2.2 compliant. It also adheres to all modern HDMI standards, including 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, and 2.0. Its audio standards include Dolby AC3, DTS 7.1, DSD, Dolby True HD, and DTS HD Master Audio. The product support includes all modern HDMI media sources, such as game consoles, streaming devices like Roku, cable TV boxes, DVD players, and home surveillance systems. Now let's take a closer look at the UHD Pro 104. Inside the kit, you'll find a complete instruction manual that lists all the information you'll need to understand to get the unit working with your own equipment at home, including extensive connection diagrams, information about what the switches do and what they affect, as well as resolutions of product and support. On the back page, you'll find some troubleshooting tips in case you run into trouble when you're connecting it up. Also included with the kit is a standard 5-volt power supply. This can plug into any wall outlet on this end. The other end has a micro USB connection, which plugs into the back of the splitter and provides all the power you need. You also can optionally use any other power supply you have that's a standard 5-volt supply with a cable you may already own. And some of the newer monitors actually have USB-A connections on the back that you can plug a cable into and power this unit directly from the monitor. Now let's take a look at the 104. The unit is made from high impact plastic, which makes it really lightweight and very durable. On the bottom, you'll find two mounting holes, and this is really nice to get it up off the floor, maybe mount it to the bottom of a desk or a wall nearby. On the one end, you'll find an on off switch. You can plug this in and turn it off with that switch. So when it's not being used, you can turn it off and turn it back on here without worrying about unplugging the power supply. On the other side, you'll find an AB switch, and this controls the EDID function inside the unit. Because if you've got a source plugged in, and you've got four monitors plugged in, each of those monitors can be different resolutions. So what the EDID does is either try to find a compromise to give you the best possible frame rate for all those monitors in the A position, or if you want to lock that frame rate, slide it to the B position, and whatever monitor you have plugged in to port number one on the back will be the frame rate that's used for all the rest of those monitors. Normally, you'll leave this in the A position. On the back of the units where all the connections are made, here's where the DC power supply plugs in, micro USB connection. Here's your input. That would come from your source product, so whatever media you want to view on all four monitors would plug in there from that device. Then you have output one, two, three, and four, and these are all the monitor connections, and they're standard HDMI. And again, the AB switch on this end controls whether all of these are a compromise as far as the EDID goes, or if you put it in the B position, it's going to lock on whatever monitor is connected up there. That's pretty much all you need to know. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make between the UHD Pro 104 HDMI splitter and your own equipment at home. And for this demonstration, I have a media player here that's currently connected to this bottom monitor, and I'm looping a video that I'd like to share with the other three monitors. The first connection I'll make to the splitter is the input connection, which is that media player. So I'll disconnect it from the bottom monitor, HDMI connection, 
And on the back of the splitter, you'll notice five HDMI ports. The center one is the input port. So you take your media source, connect it up to the input port. Now we're ready to connect up the monitors. And I'll start with the one I just disconnected. I've got an HDMI cable here. I'll plug that into the back of the monitor. Now on the back of the splitter, there are four options for outputs. Output number one, number two, number three, and number four. Just to keep this simple, I'll connect that up to output number one. All right, we're all set and ready to add power. So I've got the power supply plugged in on the floor, standard micro USB connection here, plug that into the back of the unit. Now the unit has a power switch on it. I recommend keeping the power switch off when you first plug in power. I don't like to add power to a unit that's already on just because of the surge that's involved. So now that I've connected up power, I'll turn the unit on. First thing you'll notice is the power indicator comes on and also port number one or output number one lights up. And what's going on right now inside the unit is it's doing a power on self-test where it's checking the resolution of the input source, the media player, against the ability of that monitor to display that resolution. And it's making whatever adjustments are necessary to give you the best possible picture. It's also checking the internal components to make sure everything is working fine. Once it's satisfied, it passes that video along to the first monitor. Now we're ready to hook up all the rest of the monitor. So I'll start with this one up top. We'll connect that up to output port number two. And the minute I plug that in, it goes back into a power on self-test to evaluate the resolution of that second monitor and finds a good compromise between the two to give you the best possible picture. Now, luckily, all four of these have the same resolution capabilities, so it'll work just fine, but there are two of them connected up. Let's connect up the last two. So here's the top one. I'll go to output port number three. And the bottom one, I'll go to output port number four. And again, it's going through a power on self-test every time I connect a new monitor up. It's thinking about the resolutions involved and making adjustments necessary to give you the best possible picture. And there we have one input source and four output sources that are all in sync. And it really is just that simple. I hope you found this overview of the UHD Pro 104 HDMI splitter helpful. It really does provide a simple and cost-effective way of sharing any media content you have on a device with an HDMI output with up to four monitors simultaneously at a full 4K ultra high definition resolution. And the fact that it does downscaling automatically means you can mix different monitors together and be sure you're gonna get the best possible picture. Now, if you have any questions about anything I've covered today, please check the FAQ on our website or use the contact us link to send us a note and we'll get back to you as quickly as we can. Until next time, thanks for watching.